Now. How is everything looking on everybody's fucking end? Because I'm starting to get fucking annoyed. So, is it good back there? You got like a 25 second delay, I'm not assuming. That's normal. It's normally like 10, 10 to 30 seconds. You think so. Okay. Is it good back there? <laughs> okay. But it's not lagging or anything. Well, nothing's moving on the screen. So I can't well, yes, it. no, it's working on my phone, but not the TV. Weird. Okay. That part I can't help. The issue that I'm having right now is, is everything working? Like, is everything kind of sounding good? No lag issues? Does everything look clear on everybody else's end? Are we good? Does it look clear on your phone? Looks clear on her phone back there. Does it look clear on everybody else's fucking phone? Because if that's the case, then we're going to keep moving. And pray to God that nothing fucking happens. Phone-wise is good. Perfect. Okay. So, then that's what we're running with. So let's go back through, since I was lagging like a motherfucker earlier. I am playing as Jason Momoa. Our company is called Supreme Pro Wrestling, SPW. Jason Momoa founded Supreme Pro Wrestling because he was bored in California one day and wanted to showcase some of the best unemployed talent in the world. I can't say completely unemployed because, you know, I added some people in here that have jobs. But you know what? Here's where we're at. Jason Momoa is going to be our authority figure. That's who I'm playing as. We're not going to use him very much. It's whatever. Um, Aaron Solo is going to be one of our mid-card heels, one of our bad guys. Um, I kind of like, I like his look. I've seen some of his, some of his matches before. I've seen like two or three, I think. Um, I think that he has a lot of potential. We're going to try to push him. Bo Cooper is definitely one of the veteran guys in the locker room, so we're going to keep him kind of lower on the card, but we're definitely going to give him some good wins. Brian Stifler is our referee. Um, currently, I do believe he works for AEW, but in this game, he does not. So therefore, he is okay to use. Cyrus Fees. He also um, is, or he's one of our announcers. He's going to be calling the matches with another guy named Mike Tanay. He was part of WCW, uh, TNA, I think he's been a part of uh, multiple other promotions, as you can see up here. Um, he got his break when WCW co-promoted Triple WA when Worlds Collide, so he's been in the business for a really long time. It's really nice to have a guy like that on the, uh, on the roster. Danny Cage, um, he is uh the owner of the monster factory the monster factory doesn't exist in this game in this mod um because they're a pretty small 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 organization so we're going to be using danny cage as our road agent duke dalton he's a lower mid carter um 33 years old been in the uh, business about nine years has a good look to him um we're definitely going to try to push him up the card as we grow um, he's pretty strong in ring from what it says here. I've never seen him um, outside of like pictures and stuff like that. So I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work, but we'll see. Dylan Bostic. He is from Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, pretty good worker. Um, he was trained by... Oh, shit. I can't remember who he was trained by exactly. Um, but he used to be on Pat McAfee show all the time. Um, Dylan Bostic is a really good worker really young guy and there's somebody's car alarm going off in the background so welcome to west dallas uh, <laughs> el mariachi loco is a mexican professional wrestler um he moved up into the united states he's going to be one of our higher booked guys he's an upper mid carter greg excellent this is a dude that's been in the business for a really long time knows what he's doing and is a fucking good worker i've wrestled on multiple shows with him so, OMG, I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to West Dallas. It's just like living in York City, except, you know, there was a shooting two blocks away from us a couple days ago. It's fine. Um, but Greg Excellent is definitely a guy to keep your eye on um, on the independent scene. He's wrestled for CZW. It's not even that bad. <laughs> 
It's not as bad as York. It's definitely better than Baltimore. Um, but he's definitely a great worker. If you can, check him out um, online. He's wrestled for multiple... Um, he's wrestled multiple matches for SWO. Uh, so definitely look at him when you get the chance. Jake Parnell. Um, I've never worked... Uh, never seen him work. Um, but... I do appreciate the picture, and he's apparently a Viking. So we're going to try to work with him. It's just welcoming you to make it feel like home. <laughs> Jerick120. Um, I think I've seen some of his matches before, but I'm not 100% sure. We have to... Ch you leave and my heart breaks. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We'll have to fly you out to Wisconsin, bud. <laughs> Um, we gotta change Jarek's gimmick, though, because he's an old-school heel, but he's a babyface. So, I don't like that. So, we're gonna change him to a crazy gimmick. Fuck it, why not? Um, we don't have any crazy gimmicks, so... We're going to... Exclude gimmicks that don't suit this worker. Drug addict, no. Uh... <laughs> that's... That's not a gimmick that we're working with. That will make getting sponsorships a very, very hard. Um, we're going to go... God damn it. Death visiting when I can and body allows me to. Yeah, dude. How are you feeling? I saw that you were in the hospital. I hope you're feeling a lot better. Because I was kind of scared for you there, bud. <laughs> we're going to go with a cool gimmick. Cool face. Excludes gimmicks that don't suit this worker. Ladies, man. Fuck it. It works. So he's going to be one of our ladies, man. Seriously, when I said kill Horrox 2K20, it wasn't serious. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> um, Jason Momoa, that's me. Jay Bradley. He um, has been all over the independent circuit. 20-year pro. He's one of our main eventers. Um, he's going to be a... He's a heel. He's a tough guy. Definitely a really good worker. We're going to try to push him. He may be our first SPW champion. JJ Garrett is an up-and-comer. He's 25. Uh, upper mid Carter. Average in the ring, but has pretty good uh, performance and physical skills. So we're going to be looking to push him in the coming year. Ken Carson, the show stealer, is a lower mid Carter. Um, he's from Texas. I've heard of him. I don't really know much about him, though. I like his look. So we're... Are you seriously behind him and still writing in the chat? Yes, she is. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're definitely going to be... <laughs> dot, 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 yes. We're going to be looking to push him up the card. Lil Cholo. Um, he was in Lucha Underground um, as part of Big Rick's stable. Um, oh, fuck, I can't remember the exact stable name. But... Um, he's from Hawaii, <laughs> so we're going to be definitely, um, using him a lot, um, uh, setting up the mid-card scene. Mike Hedinga, uh, also known as Mike Knox from WWE, um, and TNA, um, again, 21 years in the business, uh, a consummate veteran, we need that kind of guy on our roster, he's rated as a monster, pretty good brawler. Um, Mike Seidel, the brother of Matt Seidel, decent high flyer. Um, we'll be using him in the mid card. Mike today, our color commentator. Owen Travers is going to be our quote unquote movie star. Um, he has pretty good in ring skills. So put a tarantula on his face for me as payback for breaking our hearts and leaving us. Um, she would find that tarantula dead. Um, so no. Um, Ricky Reyes, um, also known as Cortez Castro in Lucha Underground. He's another main eventer, another heel, pretty good veteran. Um, I've wrestled with him a couple times as well at SWO. Really good dude. Ricky Starks is going to be our mid-card teen idol. Um, he's going to be the guy that uh, all of the women fall in love with, as well as Ryan Nemeth. The, um, his, I don't like him being Ryan Nemeth, though. Where is... Briley Pierce. Boom. Thank you. He's going to be Briley Pierce. Um, he's the brother of Dolph Ziggler. Um, pretty talented worker. So we're going to try to 
push him as well. Sam Adonis just got released from uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling uh, in this game. So we're going to see how well he works out with us. We're trying to go... Bradley Pierce is the most porn star name I can think of. That's kind of his gimmick, though, to be honest, is kind of like this heartthrob. So that's kind of what we're going with. Nick, stop being broken. Oh, Damien moved to be <laughs> to be an eight-legged freak. Could have just came to my house. I have huge wolf spiders. No, thank you. I'll keep the tarantulas in the closet where they belong. Thanks, bud. Um, the Whisper, another one of my friends. Um, he wrestles for Chikara. Um, I had to book him. Kind of my guy. Tony Deppin, same thing. No way, Kimber James. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, this is not good. I balance it out with the no-legged freaks too, if that helps at all. Yeah, she has two. We have two ball pythons in the closet as well. So yeah, Tony Deppin. He's just wrestled for Pro Wrestling Gorilla in their Battle of Los Angeles tournament. So um, another one of my buddies from the wrestling business. We're gonna try to push him. Um, and as a heel, Trevor Murdoch. Uh, he used to wrestle for WWE and TNA as Jethro Holiday. Um, his tag team partner was Lance Cade. Um, they were Cade Murdoch from, I think, like, 06 to 09 or something like that. Indiana Jones ain't visiting y'all. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. I forgot to change my stream elements uh, stuff for September. Ignore that. So, anyway, that's our roster right now. We're starting off with $500,000 because Jason Momoa is fucking loaded. Um, so we are going to put on the schedule that we are going to do an event. Um, SPW Kill City Kills. That's what we're running with. Um, numbered suffix. Next one is SPW Kill City Kills 1. Why the bread gotta be in the closet, poor babies? Because someone keeps the apartment too cold. Yo, okay, listen. You were also bitching about it being too hot last night. So, two nights ago. I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> Mr. I like Arctic. You're fucking right, I do. Um, we're going to be doing week three for our first um, event. It's going to be Kill City Kills. And we're going to try for a two and a half hour show. Save an exit. But hates the snow. Riddle me that shit. I can't sleep if it's not 65. Fucking right. Thank you, Nick. And yeah, the snow, the snow's sh fucking stupid. Fuck the snow. <coughs> Did she? Yeah, she just disappeared. Whatever. Um, so let's see who is willing to negotiate with us. I'm a space eater. Same, dude. Same. Okay, so no networks are willing to negotiate with us. That's fine. Um... So as of right now, we're just going to try to simulate through, um, and get to our, get to our shows. Um, I own a space heater or seven. Yeah. You also own an electric blanket and like fleece sheets and shit like that. And that's just not why that's happening. Yeah, dude, Nick, same. Like, I can't handle it. Fuck this not responding shit. I hate not responding shit. I hate when, especially in TEW, the first, like, month of the game is very, very hard to get through because of all of these different signings that are happening. Um, roster cuts, roster expansions, and plus with streaming, it has to get back up to running at a normal pace. So it does this not responding shit all the time, and I hate it. <laughs> I haven't seen very many other streamers have to go through it, but it's fine for sleeping, but time's like right fucking now. It's too cold. Well, they closed the windows. Did you just call me a bitch? No, I said, well, then close the windows. <laughs> I said, you bitch. No. <laughs> well, <close> <laughs> I was going to say, like, oh, this not responding shit's going to get annoying. There we go. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's like 44 fucking news items. So, yeah, that's where, that's where this game sometimes takes forever. Um, El Phantasma sidelined. Oh, Colin would be pissed. 
Yo, I definitely picked a picture for Kenny Omega. Whatever. It's easier to warm up than cool down. Fucking right. Thank you. God damn it. Alrighty. We can do Kill City Kills tonight, actually. We're gonna go into schedule. Saturday, week two. Whoops. That's Friday. Saturday, week two. Boom. And our whole roster should be available, except for, like, maybe Whisper and Tony Depp, and that would be about it. I'm compromising. The apartment is an Arctic Hunter, and the closet is, closet is full of animals. It's a compromise. The apartment is not an Arctic Tundra. Backstage rule. Dylan Bostic is a negative influence. Well, fuck me. Uh, where are the backstage rules? I forget. Let's pull a rib on Dylan Bostic and see if he becomes happy or not. Let's see if he calms the fuck down. Oh, hey, it went down with the rest of the locker room. Booyaka, booyaka, 619, bitch. Um, da, 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 backstage. Backstage rules will provide uh, no drugs, no smoking. Uh, da, 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 no outsiders allowed. But we will say hotels are organized, transportation is organized, uh, catering is provided. Save. That should. That only boosted the fucking backstage rating a little bit. Uh, transportation is paid for. That's better. 70%. I mean, if you don't want us walking around the house half naked, that's what happens when it's warm. Um, no. That's not just what happens when it's warm. That's what happens when it's cold, too. I just want to be comfortable when I sleep and not be sweating just laying there. Fuck. Yes! Thank you, Nick. God. Ah, no, go back. Thank you. <sighs> We had screenception there for a second. Alrighty, so to open it up, we're going to have uh, fuck a duck. Um, Jace, ah, oh shit. Hold on, I have to look and see how his microphone skills are. Microphone skills, sixty-two. Skills. Um, we'll do it based on entertainment as a whole. His entertainment skills are really good. I don't walk around the house half naked if it's cold. Oh, you get flannel jammies and dicks. Sucks not dicks. Well, I mean, again, she has flannel sheets and blankets here, so didn't get them. <laughs> uh, freestyle angle. Alrighty, so Jason, Momoa, welcomes everyone to the opening of SPW. I mean, only one of us has been in the hospital recently, Nick, and the room for 68. Cool. <laughs> Fucking right. Although, what the, what the fuck, Siri? What have I done to you to autocorrect socks to dicks? Apparently type fucking wrong. <laughs> it's Danica's dying in the background <laughs> not dying of cold either dying of laughter so Jason Momoa just comes out opens the show like Hunter Hearst Helmsley did for this week of, uh, for last week's NXT uh, no storyline risk nothing like that no injury risk he just comes out and opens the show Opening match, um, we're going to do a 50-man battle royal. Fuck me. That's way too much. We're going to do a nice little two-on-two -two match with a couple of our lower mid-card guys. We'll do Duke Dalton and Ken Carson. I'm dying of Michael. Same, though. Uh, versus Bo Cooper and Owen Travers. Let's see. Oh, damn it. Oh, and it's not going to give me your stamina either, you fucking shithead. 
<sighs> Alrighty, so Duke Dalton versus Car and Carson Ken Carson versus Bo Cooper and Owen Travers. Yep, that was easy for me to say. Uh, we'll give them ten minutes. We'll get Owen Travers the win. Um, work the crowd. Open match. We'll script it out in the back. Decisive win. Actually, no. We're gonna do tainted win. Every time I have a coughing fit, it tastes like blood. It's great. That's gross. Hard pass, please. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that that's uh that's fucked, bro. <laughs> like, no, thank you. <coughs> I just know that like all of my mucus is dropping down into my lungs now. So now I'm like, what? Uh. So then, after the match, let's see, post-match beatdown. I'm just going to have Bo Cooper and Owen Travers keep attacking Duke Dalton and, fuck, who's the other guy? I just put them into a match. I'm doing great. Ken Carson. There he is. I'm at the tail end of said cold, so I anticipate I won't die most likely. It's been two weeks now. You should probably go to the fucking doctor. Alrighty. So after that, we're going to do a one-on-one -on -one match. Um... Okay, cool. So we'll do Jake Parnell versus Aaron Solo. Let's put a mid starter. Okay, good. Yeah. We're going to give Jake the win in nine minutes. Well, I mean, if you don't want to die and keep coughing blood, I mean, that kind of sounds like something you should go to the doctor for. Um, regular match. Um, open match, script it out, go all out. And a pretty decisive win. He just gets the pinfall. He says, fuck you, bitch. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Um... Add a freestyle angle. Promise tuberculosis. Trust me, I've watched Grey's Anatomy and have the OMMB app. No, that means you're pregnant. <laughs> Jason Momoa debuts the SPW best in the world title. So Jason Momoa is just backstage. I've watched House It's Lupus and You're Gonna Die. Well, that's also very true. Um, so we only have one title right now, and it's the SPW Best in the World title. Uh, can't afford the doctor. I don't know how much it would cost. You have medical insurance, don't you? It should say on your medical card how much the copay is. Um... So yeah, Jason Momoa just says, hey, this is the best of the world title. We'll be fighting for it later on tonight. Uh, next match, one-on-one -on -one match. We'll do... Mike Seidel, who looks like somebody's sped brother. Versus Sam Adonis. What's his stamina? Doesn't tell me. But he's pretty good. He's wrestled in all Japan. He should be good. Mike Seidel. Do I have anything on you? Nope. Fucking wonderful. We're going to make this a high spots match though. We're going to go 10 minutes with it. I do, but it says Copay doesn't pick up until I reach the deductible. Oh, ouch. Um, I don't know how those work. We're going to give Sam Adonis the win here. Uh, high spots match. Should be able to do high spots. Evan match. 
script, all out, decisive win, boom. Another angle, uh, we see Trevor Murdoch in the back. Trevor Murdoch says he will win the Fatal 4-Way to become champion. Three minutes, short and sweet. Give him a minor success. You know his microphone skills? <coughs> Ooh, no, not microphone skills. Fuck that. You are not good on the microphone, bud. Uh, fuck a duck. You're not all that great, are you? Acting? I know the sex appeal is not very good, so we can't do that. Acting. Acting. Yeah, it's very technical. Danica sounds like me. Oh, did you hear her coughing? No, you're fine. It's no worries. So there's that. Uh, we'll do another tag team match. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another tag team match. We'll do get rid of our lower mid carters. And our main eventers. Greg Excellent. And no, you know what? We'll do JJ Garrett. And Ricky Starks versus Dylan Bostic and the Whisper. Other name. Good ten. <clears throat> yes, I did. Ah, alrighty. So we'll have the Whisper pick up the win because he's my friend, and that's what I want. Ah. Uh, they're going to do... How is everybody doing high spots-wise? In-ring, your average. Okay, so we'll just keep that a normal match then. Storytelling match, actually. We'll do that. Script it. Open match. Pinfall finish. For the Whisper. Mine was more choking on air than anything else. Breathing is hard while well, you're up there in no air land. No, that's false. We're not in the mountains. Not in the mountains. Huh? Not a mountain in sight. Not a mountain in sight. No, it's fucking flat. Um, next match, we'll do one-on-one. -on -one. Get rid of the main eventers. Do El Mariachi Loco versus Tony Deppen. No, Tony Deppen's in the main event. Versus Briley Pierce, the porn star himself. We're going to give them a nice 14 minute match. Well, that's because you were probably way farther north. Up north, it's a lot of mountains. Um, tainted win, flash pinfall, <gasps> high spots, script that bitch out, Briley, Briley's unhappy, so we have to keep him strong, save, there we go, alrighty, freestyle, Tony Deppin. Deppin. Egg Harbor. Where is that at? Do you know? Okay. Deppin goes berserk. Backstage. And says. He is the best. And will. Take home the gold. Boom. Three minutes. Oops. Oh, fuck. What are you good at there, Tony? What do they have you good at in here? 
Entertainment, entertainment. There. Let's see, I only have 78 minutes booked of a 112 minute show at least. I probably should have just went with a two hour show. Do Ricky Reyes versus Jarek one twenty? No. Ricky Reyes versus Greg Excellent. We're gonna do a different match. Ah! Stop clicking things, Damien. Fucking idiot. All right, we're gonna do a tag team match right before the main event. Cause we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So we have four guys in this match, four guys in the next match, and we're done. Greg Excellent and, no. Save Greg Excellent. Jarek 120 versus Lil Ch uh, Cholo. And they'll take on Ricky Reyes and Jay Bradley. Go 13. Give Jay Bradley the win. Calm the crowd a little bit. Open match. Not all out. Scripted. Decisive. Boom, boom. But up a boom, boom, boom. Okay. Also, how have you not been watching the DC Marathon on TNT all weekend? Um, because honestly, I didn't know it was happening, first off. And second, I don't like watching movies on TV because of commercial breaks so i'll just watch it on netflix or hulu or dc streaming service or whatever so all right so last match of the night we're gonna go 1v1 v1 v1 fatal four-way match greg excellent mike hedinga tony deppin and Trevor Murdoch. Gonna give these guys 16 minutes with the winner being Tony Deppin. Um, it's going to be a uh, okay, go ahead. Batman 89 is a good fucking movie. I mean, it has the best. It has one of the best Batman and Michael Keaton, and the second best Batman and Jack Nicholson. Uh, storytelling, scripted, open match, slow build, decisive win. Let's see, is anybody willing to take a stunt bump? No stunt bump. Oh, hey, Mike <laughs> Mike Knox is willing to take a stunt bump. Anybody else? Deppin? The best, the best Joker by far, and it's not even close, is Heath Ledger. It, 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 it's just, it's just true. Like, Heath Ledger is the best, is the best Joker. Trevor Murdoch is unhappy, so we gotta keep Trevor Murdoch strong. Boom, boom, close, save. Alrighty. So here we go, we're going to run the show. Starting off, oh god, Jason Momoa is not good at being on the microphone. God damn it. <laughs> Can't be friends anymore. Okay, cool. Bye bye, I guess. <laughs> Like, it's, I'm not the wrong one here. <laughs> so, Jason Momoa comes out. He welcomes everybody to SPW. Um, 
being the first show, Kill City Kills. And about that had terrible wrestling. What? Um, Duke Dalton debuted his Rebel gimmick, got an average. Owen Travers sustained a drummer's elbow. What the fuck is that? So he's injured. What the fuck is drummer's elbow? Well, uh, if I could type, maybe that would help. Acute and chronic forearm pain. Okay, so he'll be fine. He should be anyway. Um, Ken Carson debuted his... Actually, that's the one on right now. Yeah, that's the better one. <laughs> uh, Ken Carson gets a very good for a show stealer gimmick. Bo Cooper... Gets above average for his bar fighter gimmick. And Owen Travers. Excuse me. Got an above average for his movie star gimmick. The best wrestler out of that is Duke Dalton. By a mile. So all of them are not all that great. But that's why they're in the lower mid card. Oh god. That's not good. <laughs> and about that had terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat. Aaron Solo <laughs> defeated Jake Parnell. In 9 minutes and 15 seconds with a flying drop kick. Jake Parnell debuted his Viking gimmick, got above average. Aaron Solo debuted his Perfectionist gimmick, and it got an average. Both of these guys better workers than the last two, so that's good. Jason Momoa still sucks on the mic. <laughs> Mike Seidel and Sam Adonis. Sam Adonis with a rating of 21. Wow. That's not good. You're supposed to be a really good in-ring worker there, bud. Okay, that's something to think about. Trevor Murdoch says he will win the Fatal 4-Way match to become become champion. Got a below average rating on his redneck gimmick. In a tag team match that had non-existent crowd heat and terrible wrestling, apparently. Dylan Bostic and the Whisper defeated J.J. Garrett and Ricky Starks. Uh, Ricky Starks and the Whisper outperformed the other two by a decent margin. Dylan Bostic and the Whisper have absolutely zero chemistry as partners. Good to know. Whisper got great as Mysterious gimmick. Dylan Bostic averaged with his cocky gimmick. Ricky Starks great with his teen idol gimmick. JJ Garrett below average with his future gimmick. Uh, El Mariachi Loco beat Briley Pierce. Illegally using the ropes as leverage. Uh, both of them had mid twenties, mid to high twenties match. Not all that great, but it wasn't terrible. I mean, this is about what we're going to get. Tony Deppin debuted his underdog gimmick. And this one thirty three. Oh wow, God, this is going to be hard to get through. Uh, Jarek debuted his Lady Man's gimmick. Not very good. Ricky Reyes and Jay Bradley beat them both. Um. Crowd hadn't peaked, so being cooled down wasn't productive. Jay Bradley with a 37, Ricky Reyes with a 36, and Jarek 120 with a 30. That's pretty good. That's what we needed to see. And then after that, in the main event, we had a decent match. Finally, thank God. Um, Tony Deppin and, uh, defeated Greg Excellent, Mike Hedinga, and Trevor Murdoch in 16 minutes and 16 seconds. Uh, and he wins the SPW best in the world title tony deppin carried the match in terms of ring performance as he had a 54 holy shit deppin i didn't realize you were that good in this game fuck all right that is what i'm talking about so we'll end the show it's going to get us probably a 38 lost us popularity in one region whoops uh tony deppin pointed out as a good example um we'll go with that's it Tony Deppin's the only one that really deserved it. So. Wow, we have a lot of work to do, folks. Because that is not good. What you doing? Playing your brick breaker game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not good for a first show. I mean, I knew that we weren't going to get very far because we only have unemployed people at the moment. So. Losing popularity isn't something I'm not, like, I'm going to be too upset about. 
I think Ashes is barking at your voice, and I think it's hilarious. Oh, that's funny. Oh, come on. Just run. Run and be nice. Red emails. Let's look at them. Bowen Travers is injured from a botched move from Duke Dalton. Okay. So let's see how long he's out for. Shouldn't be out for too long. <gasps> Excuse me. Let's go to physical. Oh, he's working for us. Okay, cool. That works for me. Alrighty. So, we definitely need some guys that are going to bring in... They're going to bring in some exposure. To hire. Who is at least well-known. Let's see who we can bring in. Could bring in Daniel Cormier. Apparently he's strong in ring. Uh, Alberto Del Rio. I don't know if he'd work with us though. No, he wouldn't work with us. Jerry Lawler? Would he wrestle? Oh god, he's not very good in this game. Okay. John Moxley won't come in for us. Kevin Nash, no. Mick Foley, Ric Flair. Ricky Steamboat, he won't wrestle though. Okay. So, we need to filter down to... Recognizable. Nope. Okay. Regional star. Boom. Okay, that's better. <coughs> what is his schedule? Would he negotiate with us? Okay, we could bring in Austin Aries. Fuck. I had that up for a reason. Availability. He can do Fridays, but he can do Saturdays. Let's bring in... Fucking A double. Travel's not covered. Fuck you, bud. I'm already gonna be paying way too much for you. Okay. Carlito, we could bring him in. At fourteen hundred, that's not bad. I'll bring in Carlito. I can't bring in Jericho. He won't work with us anyway. Let's see. Who else? No, Pentagon's working for way too many people. Stephen Amell is unemployed right now. It's not great. 1600 to show. No, thank you. Scott Steiner work a match. He will. Will he negotiate with us? Fuck it. One night deal. It'll be a one night deal. Bring in Scott Steiner. No. Never mind. He won't do it. He won't do a one night deal. Bring in Ryback. 2000 a show. Fuck you, bud. Let's see. 
Can Raven still go? No, that's alright. Moose. Juice and Sunday Liger. He would. Oh, 3,000. Fuck. KG Mudo. MVP. Let's go with Moose. Let's negotiate for Moose to come in, too. Kettle cooked or regular barbecue? Regular barbecue. Definitely regular barbecue. Jane Storm. 1500. Uh, John Hennigan. He won't negotiate with us anyway. Enzo Amore. Oh, he's on hiatus. I couldn't bring him back if I wanted to. D'Lo Brown. Eh, I don't know if I'd want him. Let's stick with the two that we have coming in. Stick with those two. And then we'll go from there. brought Enzo in but he's definitely he first off he's on hiatus and you have to be um cult size to bring him in um from hiatus like to try to negotiate with him to bring him out of hiatus um and I don't I, we're not that size yet we're regional and we'll probably drop from regional um especially with the people that we have we won't be putting on the best matches so What'll happen is, um, he won't, he, he won't come out. Like, he'll, he'll only come out for companies that are big enough. So, like, let me see. Um, size? No, that's not what I wanted. Um, national battles? No. Fuck. Oh, where's it at? 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 How do I track that? Is it there? No. 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 No, no. No. Fuck. Where do I find that at? coverage I'm laughing because a commercial for AEW just came on oh I can't wait next Wednesday is going to, I'm, I'm so excited like I'm so fucking excited for next Wednesday where the fuck company wars there so you have to be the size of um let's see There's no smaller. Okay, so you'd have to be AEW, AAA, CMLL, New Japan, or WWE to bring him back. So if you're not that size, you can't get him. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, um, we we would have to grow by a lot, and we're we're nowhere close to that at this moment. We're gonna do this weekly, save an exit. But we're also gonna drop it from two and a half hours to two, because we barely got enough on last time. Also Danica, so how about them Packers? <laughs> you shake your head all you want. They still lost. She's glaring right now. <laughs> She's not happy with me. Hi. No? 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's not happy anymore. <laughs> Undefeated no more. <laughs> she called all of us a piece of shit. I take that back. The stream element spot is pretty nice. <laughs> stream element spot is pretty nice. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in there to just say fly eagles fly. Oh, stop it! Yeah, she's heated because the last play should have been pass interference, but what she fails to realize is that there were multiple other pass interference calls that should have been called. But you know, it's fine. Oh, there's an independent show. Let's see who was on it. Rene Dupree, Carter Mason. Oh my god, nobody fucking great. There also should have been an ejection, but player safety is bullshit. Okay, now that I will agree with. That there that Derek Barnett definitely should have been ejected. I will not disagree. Derek Barnett should have been should have been ejected the minute. The minute he made that hit, I will not disagree with that. Catch me at, catch me at the XFL draft. <laughs> See, she says catch me at the XFL draft like she doesn't expect us to watch it every week. Because we will. It's going to be on. I'm moving out. <laughs> I'm intrigued by the XFL. I will say that. Like, hopefully they learn from the AAF and don't ruin their whole company by, like, week six of the fucking season. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, hey, we can't afford to play our players. Well, duh, because you guys didn't try to market your fucking product. Antonio Brown himself is less garbo than the officials recently. Not going to disagree. I mean, officiating this year has just been terrible in general. Like, it's been pretty bad. And this is the year that the that the referees went full-time. So the fact that they're full-time referees... I had rehearsal and caught a bit at the bar that fell asleep. Well, so the thing is, is like... The... Fucking, the fucking refs are full-time this year. They should know the rule book, and they should be able to fucking make the calls that need to be made. However, they're missing more, and they're fucking up more, especially with these pass interference challenges. Like, there were both challenges for pass interference. The one I could... Uh, the one was obvious. Um, the one the Packers challenged was an obvious pass interference. The second one, it could have gone either way, depending on the ref. Um, but the fact that they aren't overturning the pass interference calls, they're not making the right calls when they need to be made. Like it, it's turning into an issue, like a massive fucking issue. Oh, we're bringing in Carlito. Also, Matt LaFleur is a fucking idiot and, and deserves garbage bells for his stupid fucking calls. I am not going to disagree with that. Matt LaFleur graduated from fucking... Seattle Seahawks University because Jesus fucking Christ how do you how do you pass the ball how do you pass the ball in the red zone like that when Aaron Jones scored from there earlier the same fucking yard line it just doesn't make sense to me Oh, excuse me. Aaron Rodgers deserves an actual Nobel Peace Prize for putting up with the garbage calls. Yeah. Like, Aaron Rodgers is definitely... Whatever, I miss Jordy Nelson. <laughs> I don't think Jordy Nelson would have really helped. I mean, Devontae Adams had almost 200 yards receiving and you guys still lost. Like, 
I don't think that we hurt him. I think he just, like, got hurt. He wouldn't have done it if you weren't there. Oh, my God. Whenever I'm mad. <laughs> then be mad. Be salty. Okay. Yep. Just flip me off. It's fine. We have decisions. Let's see. Who's coming in? Moose is going to come in. Boom. Oh, so he's a face. So... Let's auto push. Let's just auto push fucking everybody. I mean, I wasn't. I mean, wasn't we missing DJX? Yeah, we were. Like, and you also saw that we didn't pass a fucking Nelson Aguilar. Because he can't catch a fucking ball. Unlike the guy that caught all those kids out of the fire. You know, get him a fucking contract. <laughs> I think Djax is gone till week six, I think. I think he's out next week still yet, so that's always fun. But that's what Deshaun Jackson does. He gets hurt, and then he'll come back. So we want to want anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. I think, I think there was a lot that went into us winning that game. I don't think we should have won that game. And I went in saying that we weren't going to win that game. So, like, I didn't, I didn't think we were going to, and I didn't think we should have, to be honest. All I hear is your nails back there typing up a fucking storm. <laughs> Oh, and Travers is fully fit. It was a game of shitty calls and even shittier gameplay on both the part of the pack and the officials, and I'm fucking moving on. Are you, though? <laughs> He's a heel. It's there. Auto push the roster. There. Let's see. Main eventer. I just want to find who did they push down at opener? Jake Parnell, who deserves to be a lower mid-carder at this point because he wrestled better than most of our roster. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> you started it! <laughs> Opener, Ken Carson. Yeah, lower mid-carder. You're not all that... Actually, no. You're 10 fly, bud. We're gonna release you. Sorry, buddy. Get butt hurt. Alrighty. Here we go. We have a show tonight. We have a few bona fide main eventers coming in, thank God. That's why I'm enjoying it. <laughs> For convenience, Dobbins Baseball Complex in the Southwest region has been auto-booked. Uh, so... Hashtag drama, bitch. Uh, so... Moose is not able to work for us tonight. That's okay. Is he actually available on any Saturdays? Because if that's the case, then I don't know why we signed him. I should have looked at his availability a lot more. No, he's taken up every Saturday. So, fuck a duck. We'll just have to release him. Um. So, at an angle. Freestyle angle. Start off with Jason Momoa's bitch ass. Rated on, God, entertainment? Acting. Acting. He should have good acting skills, right? Yeah, his acting 77. Okay, cool. So, Jason Momoa announces SPW's newest signees. And it's fucking not moose. Not moose. Um, Austin Aries. Who? What's his popularity? Oh fuck yeah, we can rate him on popularity. When it's Everness. It's a success. And Carlito. Is he still over in the southwest? 
Uh, decently. Let's see. Do it on his microphone. Skills. I'll rate him as a success. Um, actually, we're gonna get both of them both brawl to the back. So that's our that's setting up for one of our main events. Please don't really fuck a duck. That's bestiality, and I don't think the duck would like it. <laughs> so, setting up for later in the show, we're going to have Austin Aries. As my beard hair is falling out, because I keep playing with it. A-double versus Carlito. To set up number one contender for Tony Deppin. So, add a... Six man scramble match of all of our lower mid carters just to see how much of a shit show that can be. Um, we'll throw Duke Dalton in and Jake Parnell. And then we'll throw in Owen Travers, Bo Cooper, Jarek 120, and Ma uh, Mike Seidel. We're going to give Mike Seidel the win in 12 minutes. Because he fucking deserved it after the last his last match. Let's lift the crowd, actually. Um, let's go script it. Open match. All out. Decisive win. So a good six-man scramble to open the show. Um, after this... Uh, Trevor Murdoch says he wants another shot at Tony Deppin. So, I know we said we weren't going to be using Jason Momoa a lot, but actually we kind of are. Minor success, fuck it. Um, and then we'll do Trevor Murdoch. Rated on fucking something. I don't know what. Entertainment, I think. What's his selling? Selling a 79? Fuck it. We'll just rate it on a selling. I mean, that's fucking wrong, but whatever. <laughs> so... Trevor Murdoch is just pissed off because he lost last week. He wants another shot at Tony Deppin and the BITW title. Um, next match, we'll have JJ Garrett take on The Whisper. JJ, how is your... Does it give me anything about your high flying? No, it just says in ring. Okay, so these guys, nine minutes, whisper with the win, high spots, fuck it, why not? We'll see what they can do. Script it, open match, all out. Boom. Um, after that, we're going to do a, another one-on-one -on -one match. There are these guys, heels. El Mariachi Loco taking on Ricky Starks. Ten minutes. El Mariachi Loco gets the win. Scripted open match. Fuck it. That's all they need. Add angle. Um... Let me see. Jay Bradley. Jay Bradley says he's better than everyone on the roster. And will become the ITW. Best in the world. 
<clears throat> two minutes. Oh shit. What's he rated on? Microphone? Can he talk? Microphone 49. Fuck. No, he can't. Uh, da 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 da. Da 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 da. Skills. Selling? Is that what we're gonna run on? Selling? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? We'll say that it aired from like last week or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like they interviewed him after his match last week. Fucking sure. Uh, little Cholo can wait because he's not a mid carder. He deserves to be in the lower mid card, to be honest. Uh, Ricky Reyes will take on Briley Pierce. Mr. Pornstar himself is going to get the win here. Um, storytelling match. Script. Open match. All out. Boom. Okay. Boogie Reyes doesn't like it. Keep him strong. Don't worry, Ricky. You'll get your time to shine. It'll be okay. Um, where are we at? 63 minutes. We still need 33 minutes to go. Triple threat match. Do. Aaron Solo. Dylan Bostic. And Greg Excellent. Throw all those three into a triple threat match. Let them go. 12. Bostic gets the win. Um, do storytelling again. Script, open match. Keep Greg excellent strong. Okay, a whole bunch of emotes. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you Nick now? <laughs> <coughs> All right, uh, 77 minutes. We can go into our two main event. Strawberry laid on your phone. Who the fuck is Strawberry? Is that one of the cats? I assume that's a cat. So, in our in our semi main event, we're gonna have Austin Aries take on Carlito Colon. 14 minutes. A double picking up the win. I guess the cat thinks he is. What? I'm so confused. Um, what are their high spots? Can these guys do a high spots match? Flashing is B minus. What is high spots rated on? Flashing aerial. Okay, so high flying. Okay, orange friendly cat. Thank you. Um, Ariel C flashing is B. Oh yeah, these guys can do high spots because I know Austin Aries has good high spot ability. Air C plus B minus, cool. Yep, high spots match. Fifteen full minutes. Boom, a shock of fucking lock of. Uh, high spots. Scripted open match. Decisive win. Austin Aries becomes the new number one contender for the S uh for the SPW Best in the World title. And then in the main event, we are going to have Tony Deppin taking on Trevor Murdoch. They'll go 12. Deppin gets the win. Keep it open. All out. Let's see what these guys can fucking do together. For the SPW, best in the world title. Alrighty. So let's run this show. So we open up, wow, much better opening than last time. Austin Aries debuted his egomaniac gimmick and got an initial rating of a poor fuck. But then Carlito Cologne, or Carly Cologne as he's being known as now, 
Oh, I guess Strawberry thinks he's Nick for sending the emotes. Got it. Um, Carlito Cologne gets a legendary rating for a second generation star gimmick. So they brawl to the back. Uh, Jason Momoa doesn't bring down the segment at all. Thank fucking Christ. Okay, so the six man scramble was good. It was good. Uh, Duke Dalton's getting better at his gimmick. Matt Seidel was really off his game. Jarek 120 seemed off his game. Lifting the crowd didn't really achieve much since they were already pretty hot. Well, I didn't think that they were going to fucking be. Duke Dalton with a rating of 48. So we're going to write him down quick on the, uh, on the notepad. Duke Dalton. Multi-man. We'll keep putting him in multi-man matches. That seems to be where he's going to be good at. Um, and then we had Owen Travers with a 38. Bo Cooper with a 36. Wow, these guys actually stepped up this week. Awesome. Another decently rated uh, segment. Trevor Murdoch and Jason Momoa. Another decent match. JJ Garrett with a 28. The Whisper with a 47. Let's fucking go, CJ. Fuck yeah. And then we had Ricky Starks outperforming El Mariachi Loco by a fucking mile. By a mile. Holy hell, Ricky Starks might actually be somebody we look at. We'll have to keep it. Jay Bradley with a 46. This is actually looking to be a decent show here, guys. Briley Pierce defeated Ricky Reyes with Hot and Bothered. Ricky Reyes with a 43. Briley Pierce with a 35. Ah, here's where it went down. Uh, Dylan Bostic with a 37 defeated Aaron Solo and Greg Excellent with a Shooting Star Press. Aaron Solo was really off his game, and he's also the worst, worst one in the fucking match. Wow. All right. These guys went out and had a fucking barn burner for SPW standards. In a bout that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd, Austin Aries defeated Carlito in 15 minutes and 13 seconds with a 450 splash. Carlito with a 56. Austin Aries with a 62. Shit. And then in the main event, a 56 rating. Tony Deppin with a 61. Deppin is fucking killing it. We're going to give this show increase our popularity in one region. You're fucking right it did. Holy hell. That was a good show. That was a really good show. So the number one contender is, or the match that we have to look forward to is A-Double Austin Aries versus Tony Deppin. For the best in the world title. Holy hell. What a show. Once we got the crowd hyped up and ready to go. It was it was all, all systems go. All systems go from there. And that's what we needed. We're going to get rid of Moose. And we're going to go try to find somebody else. See if maybe... See if we can maybe get somebody that's decently popular in the Southwest. You have unread emails. Okay, let's see what we have. Ricky Reyes's opinion. Dylan Bostic can't sell anything worth a damn, in my opinion. The kid needs to learn how to work. He's getting there. Give it time. He's getting there. Um... So, let's see. Will there be anybody that negotiates with us now? No? Okay. Nobody willing to negotiate for a TV contract yet. So, already we're making decent fucking money. So let's go to our roster. We're going to release Moose. Sorry, Moose. If only you were available on Saturdays. And then we're going to go try to find... Who is at least... A regional star... In the Southwest United States. Oh, hold on. 
scouting for a wrestler who is active to hire. That'll shorten the list a little bit. Uh, let's see. We could get Jay Lethal. Would he work? Availability. It's uh, he only had he only misses one week, one Saturday a week, and that's for Ring of Honor, or one one Saturday a month. Excuse me. So Jay Lethal's a good a decent one. Santana works for way too many people. We'd never get him. Jack Swagger. Let's go with Jay Lethal. Is he sixteen hundred a show? Fuck yeah. Jay Lethal. Travel not covered. Fuck you, bud. <laughs> Fuck you, bud. Alrighty. And then I want to get rid of this. I'm looking for decent high flyers. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoops. I want a wrestler who is active to hire. Uh, status. Active wrestler. Boom. Aerostar can do high spots matches only, pretty much. God damn it. If only Bandito didn't work for so many people. Would you be able to do it? Or does ML MLW, I think, is actually on Saturdays. Yeah, no, he can't. He works too much. What about Drago? Can I get Drago? <laughs> Two Saturdays out of the month. He works for AAA. Fuck. What about Dragon Lee? Oh, fuck, he only has one Saturday free. Shima? No, Shima works for a good amount of people, too. Caleb Conley? He's not working for anybody. 700 in appearance. Fuck yeah, I'll bring in Caleb Conley. I'll definitely bring in Caleb Conley. Fucking right. Uh, you work for AAA. Sumo L, AAA. Eligero, no, no, no. Ah, uh, he's exclusive pay per appearance. Fuck me. What about Hayata? Ah, uh, exclusive pay per appearance. I said to hire, right? Yeah, I can't hire exclusive pay per appearance deals, can I? Oh shit. Went way too far. Ooh, Jigsaw. He works for OTT. Are you free on Saturdays? One Saturday a month. Nope. Not covered. Thank you. I'll take a fucking Jigsaw. No way. Fucking Jay White, really? No fucking way. Sure availability. No, yeah. Three Saturdays out of the month, no thanks. Rest.
smash him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. I can't do that. Um, Laredo Kid. Oh, my God. He's fucking everywhere. Low key. For 1400 I can get low key. Let me see your availability. Every Saturday he's free. Fuck right. We're going to get low key. Fuck yeah. Yes, sir. Give me low key. Nick's back. What's going on, buddy? Where'd you go? <laughs> Where did you disappear to, my sir? Red, but um, JT Dunn. What about JT Dunn? No, I was watching a movie with my parents. Got you, got you, got you. What movie? Well, excuse me. New Aladdin is awful, by the way. I hate live action remakes. Um. I didn't have as much of an issue with it. I... I don't know. I was torn. Um... I was torn by it. Like, I didn't hate it, but it wasn't my favorite live-action remake. Um... Like, I thought it was decent, at least. Like, I was just very... I was much more upset with... The... I was more upset with the person, the girl that played Jasmine. I was not happy with her. I thought that she did a terrible job. Um, and, and there was like that whole, that whole musical number with Jasmine in the middle of the movie. I hated it. I thought it, bro I thought it completely ruined the pace of the movie. Um, the guy that played Jafar was fucking great though. Aladdin was a great actor. Jafar was atrocious. Yeah, Jasmine wasn't great. No, I thought Jafar was amazing. I thought Jafar was absolutely astounding. Yeah, I don't know why they added that musical number. I was just like, what? Why? You already have the original music. Stick with the original fucking music. Like, it's a decent song, and like, if it was one of those things, like an extended cut, I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have been as upset. But to actually throw it into the main movie, I was I was kind of annoyed by. Like I, I did not like it. I thought it I thought it threw the whole movie off. As soon as it happened, I looked um I looked at my mom and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like what what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, don't start your feminist bullshit, Shayna. Okay, that musical number sucked because it just threw off the movie. Um, like, I get why they threw it in there. Like, I get the whole meaning of the song. I just did not like the placement of it, and I thought it was stupid to add it in. Oh, uh, let's see. Story type. Worker leaving. Let's see who's left. Angelo Dawkins gone f has left the WWE due to the loan period ending. Yeah, it had nothing to do with the message, had no place there. Yeah, that's the thing. The message was fine. It's just the fact that it was, I don't know, it was weird. It was just weird placement. Wow. Impact got rid of, like, its whole women's division. Who did Kaylee Ray piss off? Like, Kaylee Ray must have pissed off somebody because she's getting released from everywhere.
So we have A Double versus Tony Deppin in the main event. I don't know if we're gonna do that this week. I think we'll do a tag match. Yeah, I think we'll do Jay Bradley. I love it. The song is dope, and I love Will Smith's version of Friend Like Me. Will Smith's version of Friend Like Me was nice. The song itself is good. I've said that already. The song is good. I hated the placement. And I hated that they added it un unless it was like a an extended edition. I don't mind the extended edition because they're going to add things that might throw off the pacing. That's fine. But the pacing of the movie, movie was fine. It was just the song and then the fucking way they shot it was weird. Like, of everybody disappearing, I was just like, is this a dream sequence? Is, like, there was too much there to question that it just made it feel off. And it ruined it for me. Jigsaw is going to come in as a face. Because we need more, I think. Loki and Caleb Conley are going to come in as heels, though. For sure. They broke the song up, which didn't make sense. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I only saw it once. I saw it in theaters. The way they shot One Jump as well was very weird. I actually liked One Jump. I liked the opening sequence of that and how they how they got through onto that. I liked it a lot. It was a little... It was a little gimmicky, you know? Like, it was a little much like, oh, yeah, like, there's no way this is realistic. Like, it took you out of it that way. But other than that, I liked the way that they shot it. I wasn't upset with that one. I understood though because they couldn't be running and doing parkour normally they had to slow it down so it looked like they were running in place during the song yeah like I don't know it, it was like I got it like I understood I understood what was happening you know Caleb Conley is definitely a heel. Um, Pre-booking, let's do a match. It's going to be a tag match between... Do Tony Deppin and Carlito versus, versus Austin Aries and Jay Bradley. Tag team main event. There. Excuse me. I'm just wondering how they'll do Lilo and Stitch and Treasure Planet, especially tre Treasure Planet, because I love it, but it wouldn't look great live action. You almost need that in animation only. You can't sing and do parkour either. Yeah, no, you can't sing and do parkour. Um, Treasure Planet's going to be a little weird. I know there's going to be a lot of CGI. I didn't know they were doing a live action Lilo and Stitch, though. Like, I'm kind of bothered by that. You can't just do a live action Lilo and Stitch movie. Well, I don't know. Maybe that is one that you can kind of adapt more to live action. Because it's actual, like, humans outside of one alien. How did you not know about Treasure Planet? Like, they've been rumoring that for months. Yeah, Treasure Planet's been rumored for months. Oh, man. I don't even know who Patrick Voros is. I wonder if he's any good. Probably not. I can't get him in the United States. Uh, Jay Lethal's coming in. Fucking beautiful. Jay Lethal comes in. Yeah, it'll be interesting to say the least. Absolutely. Um, and then if we get Low-Key to sign, it'll be Jay Lethal. Well, Low-Key will sign, but it'll be Jay Lethal versus Low-Key to debut them. I 
and we're just gonna get rid of a couple people. They can just leave it alone. Don't touch it. Like Princess Bride. Don't fucking touch it. Yeah, they don't need to touch the Princess Bride. Um, CM Punk is in this game. Um, but he is on hiatus, however. Or out of the out of the business, I think it says. So, um, like I was telling Shayna earlier, because we were going to try to sign Enzo Amore. Um, one of the things that happens is, is when somebody's on hiatus or out of the business. Um, one second, let me do this really quick. Boom. Complete. Done. Done. I'm just waiting for a nightmare before Christmas live action. Don't fucking say that. You know they're listening. <laughs> Auto push everybody outside of... Actually, no. Leave Owen Travers alone. Probably get rid of Bo Cooper, to be honest. Um, and Jake Parnell, to be completely frank, but we're gonna leave Tony Deppin alone too. Dude, I'd be all over that. Um, so the one thing that kind of sucks, we're gonna get rid of you. I don't like you. You don't... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, with being out of the business and on hiatus, like I was saying, uh, he actually, like, I truly believe that he didn't know about his allegations, to be honest. Um... The one thing that sucks about, like, out of the business and on hiatus in this game, you've been in pretty shitty matches, bud. We're just gonna release you. Oh, fuck, that's right. Ricky Starks is friends with him. And now he has morale issues. Give bonus. Thousand dollars. Be happy, bitch. Let's shut up, money. Oh, you're still irritated? Really? There. Now you're normal. Um... So here, I'll go. I'll go and I'll show you really quick. Um, is he under CM Punk? Yeah, he is. Okay, cool. So I'm negotiate with him. He's left the wrestling business. So... If Ali doesn't do a Prince Ali get up for WrestleMania, I'm going to be so pissed. I, would, I wouldn't be upset with that. So yeah, like, he'd be 12000 per show, first off, for a pay-per appearance. But, um... Like, if we go to Enzo Amore, he's on hiatus. Only companies of cult size or above have the ability to lure people back to the business. So, CM Punk, essentially, unless I go into the... Actually, I probably can. I'll just go into the database here quick and fuck with it for a second. Because we all know that CM Punk's going to come back. Yeah, dude. It, it means that, like... You can't just get every worker that you want, you know. But with this, um, we'll just put him on hiatus. Because then if nobody gets him by the time that we become cult size, uh, guess who's fucking signing? <laughs> um, uh, Pre-booking. Boom. Book match. 1v1. Jay Lethal, nope, that's Jay Bradley. Jay Lethal versus Loki. So there's that. Auto name, save. So these are our two, like our semi main and our main event. It's going to be Tony Depp and our champion and Carlito versus Austin Aries and Jay Bradley. Um, two of the guys that we're looking at pushing um, throughout this. But we're going to get rid of Bo Cooper, too. You haven't really done much. You've wrestled one match for us, and you haven't really been all that great. Um, Hot Young Briley. There's that. Who else is an opener? Jake Parnell. We can get rid of you. Release. Um, let's see. Is there anybody else that's an opener? So the one thing that like you have to look at is like opener and um, another thing called enhancement talent. They're only able to be used for like squash matches or like six minute matches. You can't really use them for much more than that. So I try to get everybody to not be an opener because then I can at least put you in a ten minute match and you can gain some like clout, I guess. And you can you can be kind of want like I can't say wanted, but like 
you're at least, like, known, you know? Like, you can gain popularity and shit like that. I know there's, um, there's a thought that I'm going to do, or there's, like, a thing I'm going to do that'll take a little bit less time. Um, I'm thinking about making it a YouTube series. Is wrestling bigger in Japan? Yes. I will answer that in a second. Um, but there's going to be a YouTube series I think I'm going to do where I start a 0000 campaign, which is zero popularity, zero momentum, zero prestige, and zero money. And I have to start off and, like, pretty much run from local, as small as you can fucking get local, to, um, to as big as you can. It's like, it's what they call local to global. Um, so, you pretty much start from the bottom and you try to outbeat the WWE. Yeah, dude, it, it's, it's, I've seen, I, the one guy I watch on, on YouTube does it. Um, he streams it, but it's a lot harder to stream, especially because, like, simulating between shows can take like three months in game which takes a good hour to do so like he tried to like do it by like looking through all the news items and stuff like that but um it just it just becomes such a hassle so like you have to take a lot of time to really fix everything up and it, it's just a hassle so like i would much rather make it a a YouTube series where I can just simulate and then I can go through the booking aspect and everything like that and I can do it on there and then once it starts getting easier I can then stream it if I need to um, but um, is wrestling bigger in Japan yes um, I will show you really quickly um, just the Japanese companies alone you have all Japan big Japan DDT Dragon Gate Michinoku Pro New Japan which is the biggest company in Japan right now um, OZ Academy, Pro Wrestling Zero One, Pro Wrestling Noah, Seedling, Sendai Girls, Tokyo Joshi, World Rings, World Wonder Ring Stardom, and Wrestle One. Um, that's just in this game. I've heard that there's like 30 companies in Tokyo alone. Um, in the United States, there's going to be more here because the person that made this is in the United States. So you have NXT, you have your W. Well, these are all one. There's us. Shine, Shimmer, Ring of Honor, PWG, Major League Wrestling. Like, you have, like, certain ones. Game Changer just went over to Japan and sold out um, Sumo Hall, which um, our champion, um, Tony Deppin, just wrestled for them. Yeah, I know Jericho and AJ were with New Japan. Not only Jericho and AJ, but, like, um, you have the Young Bucks. They were with New Japan. Kenny Omega, who's also wrestling for um, All Elite Wrestling, they were with New Japan. Um, you have another another partnership. These guys are in China, but they're part of Dragon Gate. Um, they're called Oriental Wrestling um, Entertainment or Oriel, Oriental Wrestling Enterprise or something like that. Um, I can't remember the exact like meaning of it, but I bet mean, they get paid more there too. They do um, everywhere but the United States. Actually, like a lot of the indie guys actually get paid decent wages to live off of. Like you can actually make a living being a wrestling out there or being a wrestler out there without being like a household name. Um, it's a lot easier for that. So, it's, do we, are we required to run storylines? No, we're not. Okay, cool. We don't have to run storylines. Fantastic. Um, it's a lot more, it's, it's treated like a sport over there more than it is over here. So, the issue here is that it's treated, it's treated very poorly here. And it's always like, oh, that's fake, that's do 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 Yes, we know it's fake. Shut the fuck up. Um, over there, they treat it, and they have, like, magazines upon magazines upon magazines dedicated to pro wrestling. It's uh, it's headline news in the sports section of Japan. Um, you know, it, it's definitely one of those things where you it's a lot more highly looked upon than it is here. So, it's it's more popular and it's a lot it's not as like niche to be behind and like people go to wrestling matches just to go to wrestling matches um it, it's insane but let's start this show out jason momoa comes out again or comes out to announce two more signings yeah definitely a different viewpoint for sure absolutely here people just see it as entertainment than sport yes 
that's exactly what it is. Um, they like everybody in Japan respects wrestlers, um, and like they they get like a lot of respect here. They kind of get shit on. Two more signees to the company. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't mean to cough in everybody ear, everybody's ear like that, but do six minutes. Jason Momoa. Be rated on his acting. Minor success. Um, and then we're going to do Loki. He is rated on his overness. Can we do overness? Popularity. No, we can't do overness. What can we do? Selling. We'll do selling for both of these guys because they're going to be brawling. Again, both brawl to the back. Wait, the actor Jason Momoa? Yeah, so I'm taking control of Jason Momoa because I don't actually have to wrestle with him and I kind of can just use him as a, um, as an authority figure. Um, and I'm not using, like, a cheat because I used to always choose AJ Styles as the guy that I would play with and he would just open up his own company and then we would just get 85 overall rated matches at all times uh, with him in them because he was just so good. So instead of doing that, I'm building the company outside of wrestlers type thing. Like, I'm not just using wrestlers for myself. He's a badass. Yeah, he is. Hey, dude, he's like a guy that I want to be able to, like, drink with. Alright, so we start off this week, just like we did last week. Two more signees, Loki and Jay Lethal. They brought to the back. Um, they're going to be in the semi-main tonight. So we'll add another match, and we'll open up with a Fatal 4-Way. <sighs> Is that beautiful Dothraki. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Duke Dalton, this dude fucking impressed last week. He had like a 48 rating match. Like 48 rating in his match, which is something unheard of for him. <laughs> so we're going to put him in. Jarek Sida, or uh, Jarek 120, Owen Travers. And we'll open it up to. I want to do more than just drink with him. Yes, I understand. We'll do Sam Adonis. Sam Adonis wasn't, didn't work last week. Let's see how he does. If he doesn't do well here, I'll write that down. Sam Adonis. Chopping block. Boom. Okay. Isn't his wife like 20 years older than him? Yeah, dude. Like, she's, I think, in her 50s, I want to say. Um, we're gonna give the win to Duke Dalton here. He worked, he did really well. Um, gonna do a storytelling match, open match, script, all out, boom. So we're gonna give the win to Duke Dalton. Next match, we're gonna do another Fatal 4-Way. Same with Chris Hemsworth and Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Um... We'll do Mike Seidel and Ricky Starks. What the fuck both of them do? Jesus Christ. Um, Dylan Bostic and The Whisper will be a part of these. There's that. Give it 11 minutes. Whisper gets the win. Um, let's do high spots. The only one I'm not sure that can do high spots is Ricky Starks. Average in the ring. Eh. We'll see what he can do. <laughs> I like that. I like that face. It's like, bruh. <laughs> um, all out match. Fuck it. So Whisper gets the win in that one. Angle gets added. Where... Jason... Or, uh, Tony Deppin. No. Let me see. Jason Momoa. A-Dub. What's up, Matty Ice in on the chat right now? How you doing, buddy? Jason Momoa announces that Jay Lethal and Loki will... Fuck me. God damn it. Thank you. We'll fight tonight. 
Okay. So that goes three minutes. We use Jason Momoa and his acting skills, which are apparently amazing. I wouldn't know. Minor success. Um, off screen, off screen. Um, fuck, Jay Lethal. No, not Jay Bradley. Jay Lethal gets rated on his overness, I guess. Off screen and low key overness. Okay. Are you ready for Wednesday night, Matt? How's whiskey treating you so far? Mays had a goal, had a hockey tournament this last weekend and scored eight goals in four games. Holy fuck, Mays is carving up the ice, buddy. Um, Wisconsin's treating me well. Uh, I've been sick the past two days, so that's been kind of shitty. But I can't really complain. Um, you know, I've been. I've been enjoying it. A little homesick. Still kind of unpacking a little bit. We're going to do a lot more unpacking tomorrow. Um, getting everything situated. He can't escape the crime. Yeah, there was a shooting. Uh, <laughs> there was a shootout like two blocks away from my house. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> These things are fine. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Uh, let's see. Mid Carter. Let's do... Let's do a little Cholo versus El Mariachi Loco. Boom. Give them eight minutes. Hell yes, can't wait for Wednesday nights. Dude, dude, what about that Keith Lee fucking uh, Keith Lee Don uh, Dominic Dijak match? That was insane. Like fucking both. Hold on. First off, both of them doing moon salts. Shit, man. Better go get that bulletproof vest. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Um, dude. Both of them doing moon salts though at their size is fucking godly. <sighs> like, the problem is, is like I don't have DVR here, so I'm gonna have to do. Um, I'm gonna have to do AEW live. And then watch NXT the next day. What about a tag match? Let's do a tag match. Some homeless guy went crazy and stabbed five people in Hunt Valley today. Police shot and killed him. Holy fuck! That's crazy! <laughs> Let's do... Caleb Conley and Ricky Reyes versus Jigsaw and the porn star himself, Briley Pierce. <coughs> it was such a badass match, dude. Oh, he's a weak high flyer. Fuck. What about J.J. Garrett? We'll throw J.J. Garrett into a high spots match. Fuck it. Why not? <sighs> well, hold on. Yes. Who's in my main event scene? Carlito and Jay Lethal. No, they're both they're both wrestling later. Okay. Don't give him ideas. If he got a vest, he'd run around thinking he's Batman. That's absolutely false. I would not do that at all. Um We're gonna give Caleb Conley and Ricky Reyes the win, but they're going to pin JJ Garrett. So, do a nice storytelling match. As you hear the motorcycles going by because we have our windows open. <laughs> I have a match script all out. Boom. Alrighty. So then, at an angle where... Oh, hey. My Twitch decided that it wanted to just randomly update. Liar. No, not liar. Just because I have a bulletproof vest doesn't make me Batman. I'd have to do a lot more than that just to be Batman. Okay. Did my Twitch, like, actual dashboard open back up now? Thank you. Awesome. Fucking super. Okay, so now we're going to do an open a uh, freestyle angle with... Mm. Fuck. 
Um, let's see. No, we're not going to use Duke Dalton. We're going to use Austin Aries and Tony Deppin. Okay. And we're going to say Tony Deppin. I mean, you did move to the only other city that has a main Harley plant. True. True. Tony Deppin and Austin Aries. Sign a contract to fight at SPW first pay-per-view. There. Do Austin Aries on his Irvinus and we'll do Tony Deppin on his Menace? Does he have Menace? Ah, fuck, it won't tell me. We're going to do Menace. Uh, minor success. Minor success. They don't come to blows. They just fucking sign the contract. We're not doing this WWE bullshit. Three minutes. There we go. So then we'll do another match. No, we'll, we'll add from pre-booking. Low-key and Jay Lethal. They can go 20. Do a... Let's see. Do a draw. We'll do a double count out finish. The match will end in a double count out. Your stream elements has a misspelled word. Yeah, I know. I have to take it down too because it's not September anymore. Um, that ended, I think, Monday. Um, so I have to take it down, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Did you ever see the match on YouTube between Deppin and Jungle Boy? No, I'll have to look it up. Tony Deppin's actually one of my dudes. Like, um, I wrestled on multiple shows with him. He's a great dude. He's actually our champion right now in SPW. Um... Because that's what this series is. This series is um, us taking... Jason Momoa has founded a company called SPW. Um, <laughs> and... Script. Um, and he pretty much just hired a whole bunch of people that didn't have jobs. Um, outside of a couple. Like, we just, we just signed, like, multiple people because I realized, like, oh shit, we can't just fucking run without that. <gasps> um... And then our main event is going to be the tag team match. We'll have that go 19. We're going to have Jay Bradley pick up the win. Um, storytelling match. Open. No, not call in the ring. Fuck that. We don't. Well, I don't have enough on Deppin to be able to tell. Um, script it. It'll be a slow build, decisive win. And then after the match. Yep, I remember watching him a couple times at SWO. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Dude, I forget how long ago it's been since you've been at SWO. Jay Bradley says he wants in on the match between Deppin and A Double since he won. So we'll get Jay Bradley on the microphone. Get him rated on probably selling. Since he'll just be like fresh out of a match. Acting, da 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 da, selling C microphone. What's your microphone? 49. Not very good. So, yeah, selling. So, after the match, he's selling his injuries and he says he wants to make that a triple threat match. Now, we're going to do a nice little one on one match on the pre show. Well, no, we'll do a fatal four way. Actually. 
I'll just do a fatal four way on the main shell and we'll move it down. Because we have Greg Excellent, the debuting Jigsaw, Mike Hedinga, and Trevor Murdoch. Boom. Do a nice little 12 minute fatal four way. Trevor Murdoch picks up the win. Scripted open match. That's it. We'll move that down the card a little bit. There. Right before. Or no, we'll do it right after they do the contract signing. And then we'll end with three matches back to back to back. Boom. Okay. So let's run the show. So it opens up. Wow. Low key debuted his MMA badass gimmick. It got an above average rating. And Jay Lethal debuted his fan favorite gimmick. Got a great rating. This show. Jason Momoa did not come out of this looking good. Yeah, that's because he's still fucking learning. Um, after that, we have a subpar match. Very little heat. Duke Dalton uh, picks up the win over Owen Travers and Sam Adonis. And Jarek 120, but Sam Adonis with an in-ring performance of 51. So maybe, just maybe, we might have to watch out for him. He carried the match. So let's. So he's not on the chopping block anymore, but we'll have to keep him, keep an eye on him. Ricky Stark struggled here, keeping up with everybody. And the Whisper picks up the win. The best, the best wrestler in the match by far. <coughs> uh, 41 overall rating. Not great. It's like a D plus or a D, I think. In this game, uh, Jason Momoa announces that Jay Lethal and Loki will fight tonight. So again, he's he's getting better. Lil Cholo and El Mariachi Loco. It was a terrible match. Probably gonna get rid of both of them, to be honest. But Lil Cholo is getting better. He's at a thirty-four. That's not terrible. And about to head subpar wrestling in Little Heat. Caleb Conley and Ricky Reyes defeated J.J. Garrett and Briley Pierce in 12.55 when Caleb Conley defeated J.J. Garrett by pinfall with an inverted overdrive. Uh, his gimmick got a great, but then he also has an ankle sprain, and him and Ricky Reyes don't work well as a team. Understandable. Uh, yeah, Caleb Conley. Oh, Briley Pierce is the one that hurt him. Fucking wonderful. Alrighty. In a fatal four-way match that had decent wrestling but not much heat, Trevor Murdoch defeated Jigsaw, Mike Henninga, and Greg Excellent when he pinned Greg Excellent with a leg trap sunset bomb. Uh, Jigsaw carried everybody with a 54 overall rating. Fucking nice. That's what I like to see. Oh my god. <laughs> These two fucking killed it. And Loki was off his game. And this was a double disqualification. Yeah. And it was a 77 rated match. Fucking wonderful. And then the main event still didn't disappoint with a 63. Jay Bradley with the worst. With a 33. He struggled to keep up with everyone. But man, what a match. Tony Deppin with a 57, Carlito with a 62, Austin Aries with a 67. Jay Bradley says that he wants in on that match to make it a triple threat. This show gains us popularity in one region with a 63. Wow. What a show we had there, boys. <laughs> that was nice. I will say that I really, really liked that. Fucking low-key and Jay Lethal killing it fucking killing it oh man that was nice I liked that <laughs> Gatorade is it in you <laughs> that's what this stream is sponsored by today green apple Gatorade <laughs> Oh, man. Sometimes the simulations in this are... Like, this simulation... At least it's moving. Like, it's not going into the not responding thing or whatever. Which it might hear in a second. Now that I said it. Nope. Just running through. Awesome. Unread emails. Let's see how long Caleb Conley's out now. Got an ankle sprain. So let's go down to medical. 
Six days. Awesome. So he'll be good to go by the next show. Anybody willing to negotiate? No. Nobody wants our nobody wants our show on their TV show, on their TV uh, station yet. But we're still making money. We're making good progress. Um, let's go to the end of the month and see where everything stacks up. I know we're ranked number 11 in the actual wrestling world here. Um, so that's good. Like, we're at least, like, kind of up there. And I will be right back. I'm going to get another Gatorade out of the refrigerator. Alrighty, I'm actually going to drink some Rudder's iced tea because I picked up a little a little one before I came out here. I still have a, about two and a half gallons of Turkey Hill tea in the refrigerator. I'm trying to make that shit last. <laughs> Eddie Kingston, he's actually pretty talented. I might actually look at maybe bringing him in. You have unread email waiting. Probably, what is it? Yeah, regional battles. So, dropped our prestige and it dropped our momentum fucking massively. Holy hell. Soberano Jr. moved on from New Japan, so he's only in CMLL. And he's open on weekends. Very strong high flyer. Oh, he's not active in America. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I thought we would be able to get him. I like Soberano Jr. I've seen him I've seen him on uh multiple New Japan shows already. So we'll keep simulating on and seeing if we can find anybody else to to sign. Excuse me. Oh. God damn. I'm going to miss runners. Runners and sheets. I miss them. <laughs> and Turkey Hill. But I think Danica had said that she had found Turkey Hill iced tea somewhere. We'll have to go see if we can find it again. She had said she found it at like a dollar store or something like that. blowing up. Colin. Let's see what happened in the the world of wrestling. Pac was loaned to New Japan from Rev Pro. Okay. Shima is in need of a break. WWE call up Kushida <laughs> to the main roster. That's not a bad move for them. Kushida's fucking amazing. <laughs> um, then you have All Japan with a new team. Brian Cage on loan. Last night's Labor Day Wrestling in Canada. Let's see. It was an indie show. Didn't do well, but Rene Dupree. Crazy Steve. Crazy Steve's out there? Is Crazy Steve available to hire? Nobody fucking hired him. Oh, but he's not all that good. Never mind. 
they definitely rated him harshly in this. <laughs> like, that's that's a very harsh rating for Crazy Steve. He's a pretty talented performer. I think we're going to get through this last show here, and then we'll probably call it a night. Um, potentially going to be streaming tomorrow. I might be doing football tomorrow. Um, doing some Madden. Doing some of the worst franchise ever again. Starting that back up. Um, hopefully going to try to try to get like a regular schedule down. I know I keep saying that, but... Um, Austin Aries is going to be feuding with Joey Ryan in MLW. Okay. Um, but I think I'm going to have a, at least a decent... Like, I, I found a job out here. So now once I, once I really figure that out, then I'll be able to... Uh, I'll be able to actually set up like a, a, a steady streaming schedule. Um, it'll have to be around wrestling. So, probably Tuesday nights. Um, Tuesdays and Saturdays, maybe. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Saturday. I th I'm thinking. Like, Monday night, Tuesday night, and then Saturday, potentially, like, afternoon stream or, like, a morning stream or something like that. Um, I might even do, like, random ones in between, like, Sundays, maybe. I don't know. It's it's a little bit harder, especially once school starts back up for me. What are you going to be doing? Um, I'm going to be doing some warehouse work out here. Um, driving forklift and stuff. I think they said that they're going to try to get me to like $19 an hour. What's your work schedule? Um, first shift. Um, it'll be... Uh, I want to say it's 7 to 4.30, I want to say. I could be wrong. I got to make sure. Um, I got to get a hold of them again. Um, I call them. I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to hear back from them on Monday. Um, so, like, I have the job. They're just, they're just getting a, um, like, an actual physical, like, an actual offer hour-wise and stuff like, like, hourly pay-wise and stuff like that for me. Yeah, that's the thing, and it's a it's a transmission um, remanufacturing warehouse. So like, it's a whole bunch of auto parts and stuff like that that I'll be picking. Um, and like, they do like all of the re like the transmission rebuilds inside the shop there. So like, I pick it and then it gets put on a conveyor belt and then it gets shipped up, and then they start doing their work on it. Um, so it's not bad. Like, I I took a tour of the facility. It's a nice facility. A little tight, but nothing too terrible i mean it, it's it's nothing like i was i used to be doing and i'm getting paid a lot more for it like i'm getting paid a lot more to do a lot less pretty much is kind of where it's at uh da, 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 nothing pressing here so we'll just keep going toxico How'd you get hooked up with that? Um, yeah, it can't beat the hours in first shift. Absolutely. Um, I applied, damn it. I keep dropping my pen. Um, I applied before I moved out here. Um, and they were just like, they kind of just kept my resume on file and they were like, call us like a week before you come out. So we can schedule an interview. And then I had an interview this past Monday. Um, so like, like today is what Friday is today Friday Saturday Saturday today Saturday um don't worry I gave you a good reference the other day for that job thanks buddy yeah I put you down and I put down Sweeney and then I put down my other my other um shift lead from ARX my other job right after that yeah thanks man I appreciate it um yeah like and and the company seems pretty chill so I'm not too worried about it 
They have they have company softball leagues and shit like that, which I kind of find cool. Um, like that makes me happy because I've been trying to get back into like playing softball and shit like that. So I'm pretty excited about that. Alrighty. So here we go. This is gonna be our last. I think this is gonna be our last show of the stream. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. So we're gonna start off a big brawl starts the show and shows they have a good company then yeah absolutely um and all wrestlers fight to the back so we're gonna start off we're gonna start it off with like a nice big brawl segment no i don't want it to the back Just hold on here a massive backstage brawl breaks out to start the show. <gasps> Excuse me. So seven minutes, it's going to be a whole bunch of people. They're all rated on selling. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. So this is going to start off the show. We're going to have Jay Lethal, well, Jay Bradley, Jay Lethal, Tony Deppen, Trevor Murdoch, Mike Hittinga, Loki. Excuse me. One, two. Oops. Jay Bradley. Um, Tony Deppin. Who else is like kind of up there? Austin Aries. Um, do Jigsaw. And we'll get rid of Mike hitting a, and we'll put, I want to put Whisper up there yet. Carlito. Yeah, fucking Carlito, duh. So that's all of the people that are going to start off. And then in the main event, that's going to be our main event. It's going to be an eight man tag for like 30 minutes. We're just going to have these guys just go fucking ape shit. So, the whole show is going to be filled full of one-on-one -on -one matches for our lower, our lower guys. So, that's five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's seven there. Cool. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so we'll start off with El Mariachi Loco versus... Duke Dalton because we're going to give Duke Dalton the win I want to see how he does in a one on one match there um, work the crowd guys open match script it out just do a regular match actually there um, another 1v1 match there's not going to be too many angles on this one either. Um, I don't want there to be. So, we'll start off with another one. Jarek120 versus Owen Travers. These guys haven't had too bad of matches lately, so let's see if they can go against each other for 10 minutes. Give Owen the win. Um, storytelling match. Open. Script. All out. Boom. Another one. Do that. Do Ricky Starks versus the Whisper. I like that. Give 
Whisper the win. Um, script it. Open match. Boom. <clears throat> um, freestyle angle. Let's say that the baby faces are shown getting ready for the main event. Event. Boom. Three minutes. They're just backstage discussing like strategy and shit. Um, Tony Deppin, then you have Carlito. Jay Lethal and Jigsaw. Did I throw Jigsaw in that? Fuck, I'm forgetting who I had in it now. <laughs> um, let's just say that they're still selling their injuries. Minor success, minor success, minor success, minor success. Um, do I have Jigsaw in this? Everybody scripted. The fuck out of here with that non-scripted bullshit. Yeah, I had Jigsaw in here. Okay. Everybody gets success. Because it's going to be... A, it, this is probably going to be one of the hottest angles that we have to start off a show. Whoops. Not major success. Success. Everybody's going to... Because it's a physical segment, everybody's going to have a low injury risk. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. Like, God, that would fuck everything up. <sighs> Alrighty. So, there's that. They're getting ready. Um, there. Dylan Bostic versus Mike Seidel. Let's do that. Boom. Ten minutes. I think they can do high spots. Give the one to Dylan. High spots match. All out. Script it. Open. Everybody gets equal offense. That's pretty much what open means. Everybody gets equal offense. Scripted means that they don't have to call it in the ring. So that way the match actually kind of flows. And the road agent helps them out. Um... And then, I mean, all out means that they go fucking all out. Um, let's do Greg Excellent versus Sam Adonis. Let's see how Sam Adonis does in a one-on-one -on -one match. He didn't do too great in the tag match that we put him in. Storytelling because Greg Excellent is on a losing streak. So that's a story that we're telling here. Is that he's like, he just keeps losing, keeps losing, keeps losing. That's going to lead to him turning heel at some point, I think. Um, teaming up, I think, with maybe either Dylan Bostic or Sam Adonis. Being their kind of, their muscle. Um, that's at least my plan for it. So. Um, had a match. Do... Caleb Conley versus Briley Pierce. Briley Pierce injured him last week. We'll give Caleb Conley the win. Tell the story of that. Open, script, all out. Boom. Add angle, freestyle angle. The heels are hyping themselves up for the main event. There. Heels pretty much doing the same thing. So we have Jay Bradley, Austin Aries, um, Trevor Murdoch. And Loki. So. 
selling. We're going to have the right low key on his menace. Trevor Murdoch on his selling. Austin Aries on his selling. Success. Success. Or no, minor success. We gave everybody minor success on the last one. There. Boom. Alrighty. And then we'll do a nice little three on three to close out whoever's not in the main event at this point. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve. Eight guys in the main event, so we need a two on two or a fatal four way. We'll just do fatal four way. So I don't know if it's all heels or all baby faces or two heels, two baby faces, whoever. JJ Garrett, Lil Cholo versus Mike Hittinga and Ricky Reyes. Okay, perfect. You give 12 minutes. I'm going to give Mike Knox the win here. Open match, script, all out. <coughs> Excuse me. He's going to beat JJ Garrett. There. And then in the main event, we have an eight man tag. Fuck. And it's going to go 30. We're going to make this go the fucking time. Austin Aries. Jay Bradley. Loki. Trevor Murdoch. Versus Carlito. Jay Lethal, Jigsaw, Tony Deppin. Four on four. Goes 30. Deppin pins. Deppin gets the win. After. Fuck, where? Um, I don't want interference. No, I don't want that. I want... We'll do this. Do Austin Aries. Austin Aries turns on Jay Bradley. Austin Aries attacks Jay Bradley because Jay Bradley got the win last week and was just like, no, that's my, I want to be in this match. I want to be, I want to make it a triple threat. And Austin Aries is just like, no, no, no. Fuck you. So then the loser will be Jay Bradley. Boom. Boom. Alrighty, let's run the show. Starts off 69 overall rating. Jay Bradley performed poorly in this segment. Oh, fuck. Uh, Duke Dalton with a 38 overall performance over El Mariachi Loco, who had a 29 grade. Uh, Owen Travers and Jarek. Owen Travers picks up the win over Jarek 120. Both guys, pretty decent. They're getting better. And that's what I like to see. Ricky Starks and the Whisper go for 38. Ricky Starks don't and the Whisper don't click, and it made for an awkward bout. The Whisper still pulled off a 40 performance. He's getting there. He's getting better. Tony Depp and Carlito, Jay Lethal, and, J and Jigsaw. 70 overall. And then we go to... Dylan Bostic defeating Mac, uh, Mike Seidel. Bostic with a 34. Mike Seidel with a 40. Uh, and then Greg Excellent with a 33. Sam Adonis is getting better at his gimmick. And he had a 47. So he's doing pretty good. Sam Adonis is doing pretty good. Uh, these guys don't click at all. Briley Pierce with a 27. Caleb Connolly with a 32. But Briley Pierce is getting better at his gimmick, which is good. These guys just didn't have any chemistry. And it showed. Uh, the heels are getting themselves ready. 
And then we go into the Fatal 4-Way, where Ricky Reyes outperformed all of them. Mike Henning out with the win. He got a 38. Then the main event, a 69 overall rated main event. Holy hell. Low key with a 70. Trevor Murdoch with a 38. He has a retruce nose. What the fuck is that? So his nose just got fucking broken, I guess? That's what I'm assuming, anyway. So, his, so he has a broken nose. Uh, Jay Bradley didn't do so hot either. Austin Aries with a 71. Tony Deppin with a 61. Jigsaw with a 53. Jay Lethal 74. Carlito with a 71. And that ends with a 62 rating. That improves our popularity in one region, which is good. Again, we can always use those popularity boosts. So let's see how we did. See if anybody will negotiate with us yet. Because that would be nice if we could even just get local TV. Because then we'll get spillover. Oh, I gotta see if we're... I gotta check our merchandise too. You have unread emails. Do you want to go check them? No, not yet. Let's see. Ultimate Dragon got hurt badly. Um. So he won't be taking time off. It's just a broken nose. He'll be fine. Um. Anybody get released? Nope. Okay, so let's go here. Before I forget to do this, finance, merchandise, production system, conservative. Wait. Conservative. Hold on a second. Is it production? Yeah, it is. I want DVD and home video. I want internet. Okay, so they've all upgraded. Okay, so semi pro at least. There. <coughs> Excuse me. To upgrade our production values to amateur at least. Oh shit, they, they've definitely upgraded. There. Alright, so we have at least semi pro production. Save. See, will they negotiate with us now? Ha! Twitch will and US and YouTube. Let's see. So let's do Twitch. Oh, and Twitch doesn't want to. Twitch doesn't want to work with us. Cool. Thanks, Twitch. Alright, so we can't get prime time. Can we get late evening for a year? Well, we'll do six months. Not willing to offer us that time slot, so late night then. Oh, 
past that time slot either. Not on demand. Okay, we'll do on demand. They need at least a 31. We'll definitely get that, no questions asked. Trevor Murdoch will be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, everybody. I think we're going to wind down here. Uh, my voice is, I'm starting to feel like I'm going to have to cough a lot more. So, we're going to wind down. Um, maybe next time we'll start looking at starting our own dojo. Um, we'll see. Don't know how that's going to work yet. Um, the one thing I want to check quick, though, is companies. All Elite Wrestling. Let me see what they have. Product. Nope, not what I wanted. Okay, that's not it. Alright, I can do this off stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you all. Here's some screenception for you at the end of the stream. Uh, talk to you all later on. Hopefully tomorrow. Bye.